Hey what's up guys it's Robo and today I'm going to be showing you guys a cool trick that I found on Nvidia graphics cards to fully utilize the color profiles and everything so let's get started. So you're going to want to open the Nvidia control panel if you don't have the Nvidia control panel installed then you're going to want to go and install GeForce Experience from this website I'll have it linked below and I'll put it on the screen right now. So there are two ways to get to the Nvidia control panel. One is to right click on your desktop and then go to an Nvidia control panel and it should pop up any moment here here we go. And then two, you can also go to control panel and then go to hardware and sound and then click NVIDIA control panel here. All right, so once you're in NVIDIA control panel, I want you to go under display and then go to change resolution and then go down here to number three, apply the following settings. It might be by default, it might be use uh, default color settings. You're gonna wanna press use NVIDIA color settings. Just copy down all the settings that I have. For some reason, for some reason, I don't know why, NVIDIA automatically sets the output dynamic range to limited instead of full. Um, that means you won't be getting as deeper blacks and most blacks will look gray and I was noticing the taskbar would look gray and then sometimes I would play a game and then it would like it would reset my Nvidia color profile and it would just look a lot better for a little bit so I looked into this and I found out that you have to actually set this to full and not limited because what happens if you set it to full it'll look a lot different in you'll have way better you'll just have a way better experience it won't take away from your games it won't take away any frame rate from your games it'll just make them look better without actually compromising performance and then once you're done with that I want you to press apply okay now once you've clicked apply I want you to actually shut down your computer don't restart it or anything shut it down and then turn it back on and then if everything stays the same then you should be fine if not I'll link a forum post where I got all this information from in the description where you can follow if it didn't reset you might have to go through some uh, INI files but it should be fine after that and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want more tutorials like this and I'll see you guys later peace